You know, it is no secret we are living in sobering times. 2 Timothy 3.1 states that in the last days perilous times shall come. You know, but many pride themselves on being prepared for any of life's challenges. However, most are not prepared for what happens when they die. You know, it is time to live prepared for this life and for the afterlife. We should also help others become ready for their afterlife. You know, heaven and hell are the only two destinations after we die. There is no purgatory, there's no limbo, and there is no in-between. You know, there are no second chances after we die. And being good doesn't grant us entrance into heaven. And no religious affiliation gives us access to God or to heaven. As human beings, we are first a spirit. We possess a soul, which is our mind, will, and emotions, and we live in a physical body. But one day, our body will die, but our spirit and soul will live on because we are made in God's image. We are made to last forever. God also put eternity in our hearts. And deep down, every person knows there is something beyond this life. You know, God created us to have relationship with Him and to live with Him forever. Jesus said in John 11:26, Whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. He said he would raise us up the last day. He said that in John 6, 40. You know, the scripture states in 1 Timothy 2, 5, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And Acts 4, 12 states, There is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. The name is Jesus Christ. You know, we all fall short of God's perfection. We have all lied, we've been selfish, and we have sinned in numerous ways throughout our lives. But Jesus Christ shed His blood and died on the cross for our sins. He was the sinless sacrifice who took our place. He rose from the dead to restore a broken relationship with God because He loves us. You know, Romans 5.8 says, God demonstrates His love uh, toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We can only turn from our sin and put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ while we are still alive on this earth. So I encourage you to say this prayer after me and say it just from your own heart to God. Say, Dear God in heaven, I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and He rose from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins. The blood of Jesus cleanses me now from every hurt, every sin, and every failure right now. I forgive those who have hurt me. I renounce Satan and all his works. Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I give you my life. I ask you to fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, go tell somebody because Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father in heaven and get connected with a Bible teaching church.